of the, one of the ways, of course, we do this very, very often is that we're incredibly, incredibly, horribly, incredibly conditioned by the idea that love comes from somebody else. And if you're a woman, it comes from daddy or husband. If you're a man, it comes from a lovely woman who will cook you nice food and love you forever. And this is, of course, because in our family as we grow up, we are constantly every day given this theater of daddy and mummy loving each other, which may be true, but in many, many cases not true. And this is really, really terrible. This is really the thing, more than any other thing that I've come across, that sabotages our own power. Yeah? That we have to live with somebody else who's going to love us. Your essence is love. It's right here. The essence is here, love. You don't need anybody to give you love. And as soon as you have the idea, which everybody has, of course, that somebody needs to give you love, all kinds of bullshit happens. And so this is the biggest sabotage of most people's lives, actually. And it's the reason why very, very many people who would like to be living a very spiritual life, they'd like to, to come to freedom, they never come near it, actually, because they compromise and they end up having a spiritual relationship. I meet my soul mate. What a load of bullshit. Sorry. Your soul mate is called the eternal friend, and this is always there, right? Waiting, waiting. And you're always looking out there for your soul mate. And your real soul mate is standing there going, oh, fuck, another one. <laughs> <laughs> 20 more years. I have to wait another 20 years, you see. <laughs> <laughs>